wow. Uh, one of my boys just put like three pieces of kibble in his mouth at the same time. Oh, wow. That, you know, Bro. Is that, is that a new record? <laughs> yeah. Kind of, that's kind of, kind of greedy, though, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. High score. I mean, bro, he, help him. He's gonna give himself indigestion. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> dude, eyes too big for his stomach. N- new question: Do rats get indigestion? Uh, I don't think so because they have, um, basically, they have a really s- uh, small throat and esophagus, so they can only eat very small pieces at the same time. So the oh, reason why did I miss anything? So the the reason he's taking like three pieces is for later. Obviously, he's not gonna eat a lot of, at once. Uh, yeah, I I mean I understand that a lot of rodents have them, uh, you know, uh, cheek pouches. Um, but I don't think rat do rats have that. No, they don't have the the cheek pouches, but they have uh, horns. So he has one in his mouth oh, yeah. and one in his one in his mouth and one in each hand. That's three tiny hands. The trifecta. Yeah, <laughs> that's the kibble. Yes, exactly. So mm. um, I don't even know who the fuck that is. Who? The the, the boy. The, the boy? Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of dark in, in my room and he's far away. I'm not sure who that is and what he's doing here. But he is munching that kibble fiercely. Hey. One shout, man. We, we ain't stressing, though. He just munching. Fiercely kibble. munching on the kibble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm probably he just, he just, he's just out here munching on kibble, you know? Leave him be. A, a simple way. I think that's barbecue, but I'm not sure. Um, anyway, so, uh, well, basically ready when you are. We can even start now, and people will start start chiming in as they're ready or not. What's, Let's uh, just fucking start. Okay, okay. so... a very special episode of Mojito, the worst podcast on the internet, because this is the last episode of Mojito. Uh, we are changing name, we're changing branding, we're becoming aneurysm soon, so this is like an ending, but also a new beginning, and uh, for this very special episode, uh, after an idea by our friend Armelite, who is here today, I'm using his pseudonym, because he hasn't introduced him Self yet, so I'm, I don't know if I should say his name or what. We are gonna do a roll call, of course. But yeah, if my calculations are correct, this is episode 25. And since my calculations are never correct, all guesses, uh, all bets are off. But of course, since you are in the future, you are listening to this podcast, uh, talk show, Earload on, on Spotify or iTunes or whatever, you've already seen the title. So this must not interest you. You. So we are gonna start by introducing our guests. Our guests are not exactly famous, contrary to the usual guest, but they are uh, active users from our tiny but awesome Discord server. So, boys and gals, um, I don't know who should. Uh, let's Armalite. Armalite, you should go first since it was your idea. Oh, I should go first. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I'm Armalite. I'm the local uh, autistic gun nut here. Uh, nice. I do YouTube videos, but it's just me shooting guns. That's it. <laughs> do, do those not like? I thought gun videos were like YouTube got angry at them. Oh, well, you see, the, I don't use my channel for monetization purposes, so YouTube doesn't really care if it's some fat Mexican shooting guns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you if you don't monetize your channel, you can get away with much, much more. Uh, that's a cool thing. Uh, it's the same thing on Facebook. I'm hearing some weird noises, something clicking. I'm not sure oh. where it's coming from. Oh, sorry. That's me messing with the safety on my AK. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. thought it was like a, a mic button. Uh, wow. So, uh, who's next? Um, I, I will take the plunge if I allow. Okay, go. Introduce myself. Yes. Uh, my Discord username is Sashulik, and I'm an active user. Uh, what do I do? I, I just exist. Yeah. Um, Hell yeah. That's great. Yeah. There we go. Um, okay. I'll I'll go next. Um, okay. 
I go by Dodecahed Aaron, uh, but Aaron is okay uh, because who likes syllables anyway? Um, True. I have uh, two jobs because um, I'm a bit of a workaholic. Because as as one famous uh, cartoon character once said, I like money. Mm. Um, mm. And uh, yeah, I feel that. Oh, okay, yeah. so we have. One it's here one. for money. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. Mm. I'm not sure the pay for this episode will get uh, big, but maybe it will give you the exposure that will launch your career in uh, hyperdrive. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Weirder, I mean, more sur more surprising things have happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, will people forever remember me as? Oh, it's that dude whose profile picture is someone getting head kicked. Is that what that is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Let me find the original image. Hold on. Like, I was hoping someone was going <laughs> to say something because I really didn't know what was going on. I thought it was some kind of weird CGI thing. I thought his face was melting. Oh, yeah. No, no. Like... I'll, find, I'll find the original image. I put it in chat post in a while back. It's very reminiscent to Alice and Shane's uh, Man in the Box. Oh. Wait. Rest of help and cover. Here we go. Cover. A man of culture. That's okay. the oh, boy. So you Damn. should uh, you should introduce yourself, uh, Alice in Chains person. Oh, you I'm haven't yet. Blur. Yeah, I'm Blur and uh, just a depressed, aspiring IT network <coughs> admin and general geek. Okay, yeah, Google Ultron nice. and uh, all that. Uh, <laughs> uh, pretty much jitterbug gang. <laughs> How power Google user is basically what it, what it should be really called. Yeah, do you install, uh, <laughs> what was the thing? Adobe Reader? Do you install Adobe Reader a lot? Well, it, no. It's more you like just, you just, you just sure that everyone's some... network is secured. Yeah. So that way no install one... programs and wipe porn off. Like, <laughs> yeah, Securing no. networks and taking names. <laughs> Dilly. Well, for the list, for the list <laughs> of secure networks. Of no, no, this this guy just goes into the school. server room and is like, network secured. <laughs> Hacker man. Is, is that why you have the gun there? Just so you can make audio jokes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just going to be clocking his gun a lot. That's great. I have a mechanical. I That's have what I do on a daily basis. <laughs> I I understand. Yeah, that you was, could. Gee, that that funny was very strong. I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I got the whole squad laughing. It seems. Yeah. Yes, you yeah. yes, you did. Yeah. Yes, you did. High school. Reminds me a little, I don't know if you know him, but if you know him, you're probably a fan. That dude who does trumpet covers of uh, video game songs, and he, he, he plays the trumpet, and he also plays the gun. The Glock, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. That's, dun, 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 dun. Uh, wow, wow. Exactly. <laughs> Remind me of that. Uh, I have a mechanical keyboard, so he does practically the same sound. We could uh, jam at some point, maybe, if you're inspired. <laughs> but in reality, we should probably not, because of the lag, it would be a massacre. That, that sounds very percussive. <laughs> yeah, like uh, uh, these uh, the gamelan from Indonesia, or these, uh, you know, drum bands from Africa. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, um, what's it called? like those steel drums are one of the coolest yeah. most chill sounding instruments on the planet but yeah. they also remind me of a, a crank that by soldier boy so i suppose they have that dun, dun, dun. yeah exactly or uh no. dro drop it like it drop it like it's hot by snoop not like uh, like unironically steel drums are the most aesthetic instrument <laughs> they are really oh giles it's Giles yeah. came and he left. I'm I'm not sure if he has a uh, connection. He speak. <laughs> I, I really miss him. I wonder where he is. <laughs> Gone but not forgotten. I, I maybe his house is on fire. Oh no! Don't say that. I don't want that. Is he Giles, Australian? He's in yes. Australia. Oh no! Yeah. No, I, I he's I think in Victoria. He's his mic yeah, maybe he's coming in. Oh, Victoria. <laughs> Maybe yeah. maybe his kangaroo has escaped. I don't know. I mean, how can Australia be on fire when it doesn't even exist? <laughs> right? True, absolutely true. Uh, oh gosh, she's here now. Oh, he's back. We stop. stop the Australia jokes now. Stop, stop, stop making fun of his brain country. <laughs> it's not funny. Didn't laugh. Giles, are you there? Yeah. You just woke oh, up. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. That's you fine. just woke up. Literally, just like dragging myself out of bed. 
Nice. We've got quite a variety of nationalities here today. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Um, yeah, exactly. We've got hoes all around the English-speaking world. Not, yeah. not, not only the English-speaking world. And the non-English speaking um, world, specific. where people are speaking English anyway, even though English is not widely spoken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, imagine I'm not Chinese. speaking it's English in the year of our Lord, 2020. Aren't there technically more Chinese speakers than there are English speakers? Yes. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Um, although... English is cringe. It's a cringe language. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a given. <laughs> cringe <laughs> is a cringe language. <laughs> English is the most mainstream language. My goodness. It's yeah. sold out. It's, a, go, it's cringe. Yeah, I, I see it as a hodgepodge. It's literally... Mm-hmm. A, Hungarian? It's kind of kek, not going to lie. <laughs> so there are 1.1 billion speakers of Mandarin Chinese in the world. Well, yeah, because there's that's like the entire population of China. Yeah. yeah. But there are... Oh. But, no, no, go on, go on. 983 million speakers of English. But there's more uh, people who huh? speak English as a second language. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what I was going to say. Mm, I, that might be everybody. Hmm. I don't know if that includes people that you, it's their primary or and or their secondary. How would they monitor that? How would they record this information? I don't know. Uh, st- statisticians and university people n- just kind of like... Nerds use this thing called the uh, math. And, yeah, uh, it's a wonderful it thing. A in the UK, we call it maths, so I do apologize. Oh, 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 oh look at me, cherry I'm just going to do my maths while eating tea and crumpets. You don't eat tea. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this bro eats tea. He eats that's, it. Hard, that's hard. Oh, yeah. Tear it out of the bag and pour it down my throat. Just, just, just imagine oh. some guy in a stovepipe hat with the suit just munching on tea leaves like tobacco. Yeah. Oh, also, Hell yeah. Bro, I'll be eating tea bags left, right, and center. Once he once he tears open the package, then he takes the the kettle off the off the hob and just pours the boiling water straight down his throat. Oh uh, yes, the extra tea cup. Like, <laughs> that's how he hardcore he is. <laughs> As a, as a student, I relate highly. That's what I do every once. He day. is a little teapot. His body is a teapot. <laughs> if you don't do it like this, it's not worth doing it at all. I mean, go all I'm, in yeah. or don't go at all. It's like I'm both spiritually and physically short and stout. <laughs> nice. You are nice. a little teapot. Short and stout. I'm, I'm Me too. Re- closed. I'm is not this, really short and stout. Is this guy a manlet? No, no, I'm, I'm not really. I was, I was making a teapot joke. Well, what's your height, bro? Don't leave us hanging. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm roughly. I think I'm six two. I think. Okay. Um, I'm, uh, I'm also, I'm, I'm also a bit uh, for tank, I suppose. Like, uh, I don't know what this is in everyone else measurements, but I weigh nineteen and a half <laughs> stones. Um, What's that in English? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I know that none of you will know what that is. I, I, um, don't, I don't speak uh, <clears throat> pit pit uh, cheerio. Okay, Good so on you, lad. 19 and a half stones. Stones. Is that that like is uh, 273 pounds. Yeah, it's close. Oh, um, okay. That's I'm, a lot. I'm not. I'm not even fat though. I'm not even muscly either. So I have no idea where it's coming from. Are you? Are you just thick? T H I C C. Two C. I have the same thing. No, no, no. This guy obviously him. has uranium in his bones, and that's why he's heavy. Um, yes. You gotta. <laughs> you gotta yeah, get cause, down with the thickness. Because if you're if you're large and massive, but you have no muscles and no fat, it's just the bones, I suppose. It's just, Dense. Uh, the bones, uh, you're a dense bones. Dense. bones. There you go, Big, or, dense, or it could be bones. The water, maybe just water. Yeah, water weight is a thing. Yes, mm. exactly. Yes, it is. Having, just filled with gallons and gallons. Wait, cut a couple of times to do the competitions. I can confirm. Yeah, looks, I'm, I'm kind of horrible just, as well. I'm kind of just imagining you as like a uh, tall Kirby. Oh. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's uh, accurate, but yeah. I'm just I'm gonna keep that mental image, you know. Yeah, yeah. go for it. You can lose a fair mental bit of image there. And make make, make your own me. make your own imagination, you know. Keep the mystery going. Yeah. So now that we have introduced everyone, uh, it seems, uh, let's launch the theme of this episode because this is. 
the last episode of Mohi Talk and its endings, its beginnings. It's also the end of a decade that just ended a few days ago. We are recording in early January of 2020. Uh, since we can take a lot of time editing, I prefer precising what the date is because uh, sometimes the episodes are released much, much later. And um, yeah, so basically, uh, let's talk about this this decade that just ended and maybe some words about what you want, hope, think will happen in the next one or the current one uh, that just started. Anyone? Um... Um, decade was kind of, it was right. It was a decade. <laughs> yeah. um, I know that much. Ten whole years! It's a big-ass passage of time. I, 2010 was when I left fucking... Ten years is quite a long time, now, if I say so myself. Yeah, ten... It, it feels as long as ten years. But yeah, yeah. No, Almost. it's weird, because yeah. 2010 is when I left primary school, and now I'm in my second year of university. Well, oh. Two years in between working. Oh, little boys growing up. Older than that. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's an assumption. Yeah, so you know, it's kind of weird. I've done a lot of growing up. I I left secondary school a decade ago. Damn. What the heck? Yeah. Under my boot. The heck. Oh man. Secondary school is like uh, high school, right? Or middle oh, school? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. High school, yeah. Yes. Um, so like, I was uh, I was eighteen when I left school. Okay. Um, but um, the, the last two years are kind of optional. Mm -hmm. uh, like the UK. Not is anymore. Weird. You gotta you gotta do if you can't do sick form, you gotta either do an apprenticeship. Yeah, it's different now. Um, it used you to have be to that you could just <laughs> fuck off. You know, at sixteen. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here it's a little weird because it's uh, mandatory to be educated until the age of sixteen, uh, but you can drop at school. Of you can drop out at sixteen, no matter what's your grade. Like some people are at sixteen already in twelfth grade. Some people are still in ninth. Oh uh, yeah, just, because if you don't, but, yeah, but it's uh, just yeah. you have to be educated until you're sixteen. There's no requirement of yeah. Because I remember doing French at school. Um, I remember, like, the teacher explained to us how the French education system works, and you have to repeat it if you don't pass into the next one. Yeah. Wow. That's a that's, a that's not a thing. That's not a thing in the UK. Oh, that's not the. I thought that was the same everywhere in the world. I'm learning because no. we don't have a, we don't have exams at the end of every year. We only have like two sets of them. Yeah. Uh, we, don't, with... we don't have exams at the end of every year either. It's just if you with... if your grades throughout the year were not good enough, then you have to do the the grade again. Oh wow! It's just, mm -hmm. I thought it was no, normal and like this everywhere in the world. No, 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 no! Oh, no. Definitely not in the US. Oh, that's no. crazy! <laughs> like We've I got... think they only hold people back in the UK at least if they've really got something wrong going on, um, yeah. like re like something really tragic has happened, or they're just not quite all there. Um, that's that's like the only reason people would possibly get held back here. Yeah, it's not the norm. Yeah. Yeah, in the in the United States they um they'll put you in like special education classes if you're not doing so well, but you move along at your grade level with everybody else cuz it's seen as socially really important to like stay with the same group and you know, they don't want people to get sad if they're not doing well and they're lagging behind all their friends who are moving forward. Hmm. Okay. That's something. Yeah. That's kind of a cultural shock. I uh, I'm uh, surprised to learn this. Mm -hmm. The education systems all around are weird. Halfway through my high school education, I moved from England to Scotland, and their system is oh, almost <laughs> entirely different live, to the. English. I live in Scotland, and yeah, it's oh. taken. Me like I um I found out that um so there's there's a grade of education you can get in Scotland. I'm not sure if it's a thing anymore, but they're called int twos, and they're like a halfway grade between what you would earn in like when you're 18 and when you're 16 for people who don't want to go straight to the higher one. And I found out that my int twos don't go to like none of the universities or colleges actually mm -hmm. care about it. I looked it up and int twos are worth like zero points on oh, yeah. all of the higher yeah. education. You need, you need hires or um, for most of the top universities in Scotland, you definitely need some advanced. Yeah, point. you need hires and advanced hires now. It's weird. The Scottish education is bonkers. 
what the fuck Nat 5's bro it's GCSE is the fuck you want about <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah all about these uh, initials a lot of stuff <laughs> yep lots of why it. can't it just be exam 1 exam 2 yeah. Why can't they make a universal system, you know, if it's going with something that if, if education has to be different everywhere, then clearly one system doesn't agree with another place. And you've got to work on a more, you know, universal system that's more agreed upon uh, across the world so that it's easier for people to find work internationally, I suppose. Oh, yes, of course. Calm down, that is. <laughs> But no one wants, none of the governments want that, do they? I mean, Things simple in this yeah. economy? <laughs> no. If it costs, if it costs too much money, which... If it, it costs will... one red cent, people ain't gonna do it. Yeah. It, it, although I think it would benefit everyone to be able to be on the same system. Uh, so that way there's no confusion. But we're not ready... Humanity's not ready for that kind of advancement and uh, <laughs> in that technical term. Yeah. Very true. Um, so just want to interject. Uh, Giles, your mic is working. I can see the audio level uh, going up and down. So there is sound that is coming from your computer. I don't know why and my how. Laptop, my laptop oh. mic is, is picking up. That's also, it. If I change it to the snowball, it, it uh, doesn't doesn't receive anything. But we can, it, yeah, we can hear you fine. You sound you, good. Your your uh, okay. laptop mic's right. good. You're uh, in, you're, I'm yeah. using a twelve dollar microphone off of Amazon. I remember so. back in my <laughs> day, laptop mics sounded like you were on Xbox in two thousand seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my day, laptops did not have it's mics. Aesthetic. Yeah, because you were around in like 1980, whatever, during the Stone Age with yeah. stone tablets. Stone tablets. So that's like a nice like everything by paper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, this is for the editor. Um, my Audacity recording starts now. Okay, thanks. Uh, yeah, we had to send each other like rock pegs and uh, all that shit. <laughs> rock pegs? Yeah. Uh, uh, Animation yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> So uh, Boys and gals uh, You're gal. There's only one gal here It's okay Okay <laughs> Sausage Fest 2020 <laughs> What uh, would you say What's everyone's pronouns <laughs> <What>? Maybe let's <laughs> Maybe let's God. not go there that's a quality question to ask, man. So you will uh, you will only address me as mein Führer. Uh, <laughs> We're all bros my, here. You have all my hair. Everybody is either bro or comrade, and then you're you're good to go. I'd yeah. say something, but I don't think it's allowed for the uh, thing for uh, reasons. You know, the gamer word. <laughs> the, the game word. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a friend. Boy, I'm a just don't go up to your friends and be like, what's up, my gamer word? <laughs> gamer word. Gamer word. Gamer is our word, but you can say gamma. <laughs> gamma. Gamma. Yes, I'm a gamma. Yeah. My favorite, uh, my favorite gender neutral pronoun is fella. But uh, Fella. yeah, in the UK, that's quite gendered. Oh, yeah, I thought that was um, yeah, yeah. That's that's for dudes. Huh. For I mean, dudes. if you really want to get technical, you, you, you can call me a fella. What's up, fellas? Agent, would that work? Agent, <laughs> agent, yeah, yeah, yeah. agent, 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 yeah. agent, like Agent Smith. Oh my yeah. God, that's J C Denton. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's funny because shame. Jesus yeah, Christ, Denton. Are we ever going to get Daryl on the show? I don't know. Who is the original uh, Daryl? Oh, the it's, Daryl. It's, it's called Daryl Robinson. I don't think he's on the Discord. He's very yeah. active on Facebook. Daryl Robinson, that's that's a character from The Office. 
<laughs> is it? Really? Please, no, no. Please, no mention. Please just go watch Which it. office? The British one or the American one? Please. America. <laughs> watch a different TV show. Not, not, I don't uh, care. Not clearly he's talking the about the Counter-Strike 1-6 map CS uh, office. It's Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> it's Daryl Philbin, played by Craig Robinson. Oh, my God. Oh, interesting. Yeah. You just, you got his, his show name and his actor name fucking... Well, Spliced oh, together. You're, you're telling me TV people aren't real? Use their real names. What? A lot of the characters on that show use their real names. They're like, oh, hmm. yeah. Well, the character on the Office. Sorry to be injured, but the character on the character on yeah, the Office was Daryl Philbin, and he was played by yeah, actor no. Craig Robinson. Yeah. No. I, yeah. The Excellent. more you know. Okay. Do you? Guys and gal and fellas and and whatever have a favorite meme of the decade. Oh, definitely. I, mean, I, I actually know. thought about this previously. Honestly, awesome. Uh, in 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 my opinion, it'd probably be Doge because like it sort of started mm. out as some stupid thing, but then went through a renaissance. You yeah. know, man. And it like it's, from it's really funny because it's like, like uh, wait a second, it's like uh, a gamer girl and she has feet. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Yeah. Oh my god! Those are real. No way. Oh, it's, it's it's great because it's really versatile. I've I've seen it used in every or, or, or like or, or like or like there's this one that's my favorite uh, where it says. Like, like the bottom of it's cut off, but the top of it's like, what? I'm not homophobic. I'm not afraid of a fucking beep. Like, yeah. <laughs> I um, before the current iteration of Doug got big, um, back when it was literally just the picture and nothing else, one of my exes yeah. bought me a t shirt for my birthday that was just a crossover of a Doug and Amaterasu from the video game Okami. Mm. It's um, pretty dank, dude. And um, I wonder if I can. Kami is a good game. Everyone should play it. Oh, Kami, yeah. For some reason, it's kind of like something weeb that I didn't know until you said it. I don't know why. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna send a picture of uh, the no, design was, uh... to to the chat. It was on uh, originally on PlayStation Two, I think. And, yeah, uh, it where got... you painted it to like attack enemies. It got re-released not long ago. Oh, it's, it's great. <laughs> uh, that is pretty good. No, and uh, it was re-released. Uh, the J Japanese characters say wow, uh, in case you don't know. So um, this, that's pretty great. Wow, but, I'm, I'm so, I'm, you know that. That's brilliant. Thanks. <laughs> I like languages. They're fun to learn. Uh, so, what? Uh, yeah, it was re-released recently in HD. I got it on sale on Steam. Still haven't started it, but I want to... Oh, it's on Steam. Yeah, uh, since like oh, yeah. 20, 2018, I think. It was pretty recent. Yeah. They made a HD version. And uh, I bought it on sale because it was really, really cheap. And I, I want to play it this year. Um, so, Doge. Actually, in the beginning, Doge was not even an image. It was a text uh, thing on Tumblr. It was like uh, this, um, you know, these books like Ch Choose Your Own Adventure? Yeah. When you, uh, you have a, a thing and then you have options. And so, uh, basically, uh, the, the post was uh, uh, just text, but with, um, with an audio clip of the text read by one of these... Um, uh, you know, robot voices that can read words like uh, not, oh, not like a like super English but... one, like the um, yes. like the uh, MLG get wrecked scrap. Exactly, <laughs> maybe oh, that was good. maybe the same one. And uh, <clears throat> so uh, basically, the text read: uh, "You have encountered a Doge. What do you want to do? Number one, uh, run. Number two, attack. <laughs> Number three, pet Doge." And then it says, you have chosen three. Pet Doge. The Doge <laughs> is pleased. And so that, that was that was like a huge, that got huge on Tumblr in a, in a few days. People were sharing it all the time. And then some, some, someone at some point was like, hey, I found the picture of the Doge and uh, posted that picture from a, a Japanese uh, Instagram account, Japanese blog. Uh, the, the dog's name is, is Kabosu. 
I forgot what this means, but I think it's a it's, it's a fruit. I think it's like ugh, don't quote me on this because I'm too lazy to Google it. It's like I'm sure it comes from a tree, like most fruits. But <laughs> I, I, I thought it was some kind like of a fruit. Looks like a lime. Oh like... yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's a citrus. It's a citrus. Uh, so citrus. we're we're a little related. Um, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it's a kind of citrus. Yes, citrus. What? <laughs> it's just a funny way to say citrus. citrus. Yeah, the lemon citrus. fucking thing. Whatever. Well, so. Like, 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 like this guy <laughs> be going in his uh, citronin in <laughs> France to get some uh, baguettes. I thought you don't you mean a citron? Yes, that, I, that, I'm making fun of him saying citrus, you yes. fucking oh. mong. <laughs> Damn, no need to get wow. angry. I'm not getting angry. I'm calm just, down. Yeah. You're, you calm, need calm to down. calm down. Calm down and stroke please, your gun. Please calm down now. <laughs> Bro, calm that's down awkward and in cock, public, you sir. man. Cock your AK. <laughs> you need, need to calm down. <laughs> So who uh, else? English wants is to... everyone's first language, right? Except for <laughs> except for the Führers. Do you really <laughs> count American English as being true English? I think it's a <laughs> no, 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 no. You see, you see. Uh, to, to quote a famous meme I saw a bajillion years ago, and I told that teaching lady the only words I needed to learn were you, us, and I. <laughs> 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 oh man, that gives me some King of the Hill vibes. <laughs> That's fair. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> you get in my ketamine again. <laughs> so, who's next for Beam um, of the Decade? I've I've got one. Uh, Go so ahead. this is I, if I remember correctly. Now correct me if I'm wrong. I I think he, uh, you may have posted this one a while ago, and I think this might have actually been what got me into the the page. Um, but it was a powder that makes you say yes. Oh yes, um, absolutely. And, oh, damn. I remember. He's on it right now. Quality one. But when I first saw that, I think I my uh, colleague showed me it um, in work and I started pissing myself laughing um, <laughs> like I don't know what it was about it but it was so it was so like oh, it was so obscure it was so yeah, the more bizarre the more unexplainable they are the more they like hit real hard, but it makes yeah. sense at the same time as <laughs> it not making sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it quite vividly. It was uh, at the end of 2017, beginning of 2018. Uh, it was kind of, a, I think, it was kind of a riff on the bone hurting juice. Yes, yes, it was. It, Oof, um, ouch, my bones! If I, I remember drink correctly, bone hurting juice. If I remember correctly, I think um, know your meme actually subcategorizes it under. Bone hurting juice, but I that's, could be wrong. That's possible. Um, that is possible. Yes. Mm. Mm. They're clear. Oh, they are clearly linked. Inspired, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps. Perhaps. Mm. Oh, <laughs> the the guys who invented the bone hurting juice meme are going to be uh, soon. Uh, guests on this very show. Oh, where, uh, wow! Nor normally, one of them You've made is it. one. <laughs> one of them is like on a road trip around the world, so uh, we're not quite sure when he's going to be back, but should be in March. Mm, so he must yeah. be sampling the world's juices <laughs> and seeing which ones nah. hurt his bones the most nah, and nah, the least. Nah, nah, clearly he's going around the world asking people spare coochie. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've never seen that? Excuse me, madam, but could you spare some coochie for <laughs> this album? Oh, oh, I didn't hear what he said first. What? <laughs> I was trying to decipher this language. What? You haven't spare seen the video coochie. where the guy was like, spare coochie? No, it's I just didn't classic. understand because of your accent for the moment. <laughs> well, well, it's yeah, it's... so American, so profoundly American. Oh, my God, my allergies are killing me. <laughs> Damn. Fight them. Fight them back. Not, not. You see, sometimes my like I'm allergic to grass and dust, so 
like sometimes like it just feels like I want to snort up some ground glass to clear my <laughs> si sinuses. You Damn. know, it's like. What if you? Sh oh, what if you shot your allergies with your AK? Would that work? I if they're killing you, uh, why don't you kill them back? I, I think that is uh, considered uh, to quote the Halo announcer, suicide. <laughs> uh, I, I like, you just need to get the FAL and just like, no, 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 no. You see, the FAL is great, but the G three is better. Uh, the G three, I mean. These are just oh, yeah. more. I right? have the G three. Let me get it out of the box. <laughs> These are just more, um, more acronyms. The only thing you're missing is, is, is the, the, uh... Oh no, the word no. has escaped. Oh no. Uh, I got this, uh, HK Slappy Bap right here. HK Slap. Whoa. HK Slap for intimidation. So the, the Tingo Skra, huh? Uh, so, uh... <laughs> oh, excuse me, a uh, guy who has a drawing of a couple as this profile picture, yes. your mic that is... Be me blur. Yes, Blur. Oh, yeah, the names are on the right side of the window. I didn't even... Uh, my anti-pop my anti was uh, masking it. Anyway, could you put your mic a little louder? Because it's a little hard to hear you. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I just want to make sure that... Much better, was... thanks. So, uh, well, since we were talking to each other, tell me your favorite meme of the decade. This is a hard one because I don't really necessarily. I think that the previous decade, whatever, I'd never really sat down and thought about the memes in in what I would consider what would be favorite, other than I understand yeah. situations. So, okay. mm. yeah, I don't know. I, I can't really choose exact one because they all have their purposes. Uh, okay. Yeah, I understand. I understand. So, how about a Chinese boxing guy getting his head blown off? Or whatever. Tell well, us. What do you want? Tell us the meme of the decade. Yeah, in your opinion, your favorite meme of the decade. <sighs> See, that's a, that's a difficult choice and uh, one to ponder on for a large amount of time. Probably, probably, <laughs> you know what? Just impact text in general. Impact. Yeah. The one that's yeah. been around. Uh, it's, it's a little impact. older, though. Yeah, that's, 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 that's like early um, 2000s. It's an old maybe. meme, but it checks out. Well, it's still <laughs> yeah. dominated this decade, so... Yeah, I understand. Font, font memes are fairly strong in general, and I don't think they'll ever die. Like, Comic Sans will yeah. forever be haunting that part of the back of everyone's brain, and every meme is accented by it almost horribly. Mm. That's true, that is very true, yes. Uh, and also, yeah. add, to also add on, I, it, for me, when it comes to like the different types of means, I don't think, I, like I said, don't really give them that much thought, but I also see it as... See it as what? It, it's, I think at the time, I think at the time, I'd never really put too much thought into it and just kind of like <laughs> shared the most funny things, so I never really put too much importance until like the later half of this decade on down to this year. So I, for the like past five years, I probably have seen memes as more depth. They had more depth to them than the previous. He's seen uh, sea years. beams across Tannhauser Gate, like <laughs> tears <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. Else didn't die. <laughs> That's fine. No, I mean, but it's kind of like I never really, I never really thought of it as much because I didn't really mature on that kind of thought process until recently in the last five years and I kind of like oh there's I, I guess I it. sort of did the same thing because like uh what's it what was the start of the decade 2010 yeah yeah I I was uh where was I was I in no 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 I was in middle school I think hmm. I graduated high school in 2015 or 16 I don't remember I'm too lazy to count <laughs> but it's fair. That's okay. Math is hard. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah, you know, at the start of the, dec the decade, I was busy uh, trying to be goth and fit in because autism, you know. Yeah. Goth and fit in in the same sentence? Yes, I was trying to fit into a subculture. Yeah. Uh, That's yeah. the irony. And my mom was yeah. really proud of me because of my autism. <laughs> See, she's proud of you for being autistic. 
Well, no, I mean, she's proud of me for making leaps and bounds and social things. For going going from being alone to fitting in with goths. I mean, yeah. I, I feel like okay. I haven't made leaps and bounds, but I live in my own apartment and oh, I pay good. taxes. That's Hell something. Yeah. Right. I don't, the IRS cannot catch me. <laughs> the, IRS I mean, the, IRS, big, the IRS have no jurisdiction in, in yeah the IRS are big gay I don't <laughs> why did so, like half my money gotta go to the government you know yeah are you a libertarian <laughs> I just want to buy more guns and anime titty figures I'm a simple oh. man you know <laughs> That's so why, not both? why not buy something that combines the two into one well you see I could get weeaboo yeah, grips for my CZ75 but I don't know anyone that makes clear like sand grips for the CZ75 that's that's clearly a business venture right there uh, yeah, yeah but I, I live in an apartment and I just can't like bring up a fucking like bandsaw my stairs because that'd kill me for one because the stairs are so inclined like Sometimes. to tell you how inclined they are to quote my stepdad who's a Vietnam vet he's climbed stairs in the jungles of Vietnam that were not as bad as my apartment stairs <laughs> yeah. do, you been, do you rent or do you buy did you buy the apartment I rent because well, uh, I'm not uh, rich. Yeah. Well, again, cool. landlord. I mean, well, does anyone here own a home? No. no. The, the only thing is I own. I, I own. I, I co-own a home in I Iowa. I say, um, in, in, the, in the states, mostly a lot of people who live in apartments usually rent from it. Don't really own an apartment. Like place. it's not like I'm living in some fancy condo. It's some house that, like, like the, the set of apartments I live in used to be a two-story house that was built in the 30s. Then some goober was like, hey, let's turn this into some apartments because it's next to the college. Yeah, and, and also a lot of the apartment complexes are owned by, like, housing agencies. I'm not sure, like, it's when they private. turned it into apartments, but my apartment is so old that there's a folding ironing board in the wall. <laughs> that's that, that well, convenient but it also that's, plus. Well, that's, well, that's pretty much a, a good sign because if it has stayed yeah. up for this long it means that it's well built so that's well, well, something I mean like like ironing is good for some people but with my autism I have sensory defensiveness so like with like button shirts that annoys me so the nicest thing you'll see me wearing is like a polo some slacks and maybe a blazer yeah. You can iron all of those. I don't iron because I'm lazy. Same. Well, yeah. I iron smart clothes. Okay. Yeah, nobody irons. Wait, Wait, does iron, anybody I have mean, a job? Most, a most job. of my... Uh, <laughs> like, most of my work is outside, so I'm usually in jeans and a t-shirt putting up fences or painting houses. I get to wear what I want at work. It's pretty cool. Um, what do you work as? Um, so, I have two jobs. Um, one is I do custom, I customer service and sales for car insurance. Very exciting. Um, wow, I and, can't believe the Geico lizard is here. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, I uh, get to wear almost anything I want at there. I can't wear anything that would uh, offend any of my uh, but, Like, you can't colleagues. wear a gimp suit, you know? Um, almost, uh, I say almost, every week on a Wednesday particularly. I uh, deliberately wear a very fancy uh, Hawaiian shirt because I have a collection of about 14 different brightly colored, horrible, garish shirts. Based. <laughs> not and, uh, What's the rule of Hawaiian shirts, not to go on to a tangent. Well, I guess it is a tangent, but uh, I like Hawaiian shirts because no, they're, they're great. They're brilliant. I, like, I like Hawaiian shirts because A... They're great when you're concealed carrying with a shoulder holster. You just and end up with you look like I Max Payne in them. <laughs> yeah, Max Payne. So, the I have a, so two, th Payne. two things. Okay. Yes, Max Payne, such great. Uh, you cannot go on a tangent because this whole show is a tangent. I mean, that's <laughs> fair, I guess. And uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I just want to say based and shirt peeled. 
Yes, exactly. Like, like if people who don't like Hawaiian shirts are probably either A, communists, or B, Californians. <laughs> Isn't that the same thing? I, yes. Like, um, I, do have, I do have a, a Hawaiian-themed uh, short sleeve button up, but it's not it's just a Hawaiian. Just, but, it is, but it is got Hawaiian patterns. It's got it's got floral patterns. I need to one, get more one Hawaiian of my, shirts now that I think about it. Cause... One of my um, Hawaiian shirts is covered with a carp. I would wear it more often, but people would think I am being coy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's it like? I also have a bunch of dad shirts, like uh. You know, like they have the cars and oh God. the woody wagons on it. That's another level. <laughs> like, like That's if you like don't appreciate dad of... shirts, you're, you're you're not appreciating life. You know, sometimes you just want to sit on your on the grass with a nice rolling rock and some music, and you know, just chill. And it's you know not freezing outside. Just yeah. to clarify, is this a button up or a, a regular t shirt? A button up. Okay. But like, the thing is about these shirts is you don't need to button them up. Yeah. Of course. Like I have a I have the shirt I found in a Goodwill and it's like one of those button up Hawaiian shirts, but on the front and back it just has this picture of Jesus. Just for context, is a Goodwill like a charity shop? Uh, yeah, it's yes, yeah. It's... Uh hmm. like uh like I picked this up in New Mexico out of all places, so uh, it was like the ultimate cholo shirt. <laughs> um, you just you just walk around town with the AK. Oh, no, <laughs> no, you don't like do that. in in Texas, uh, it's only legal to carry long guns openly if you're going to your car, if you're hunting or whatever. That's very specific. Yeah, you yeah. can be perpetually going to your car. Look. <laughs> but, uh, if, if your car is moving away from you, for but, uh, what's it like? Uh, as as far as carry laws go, you can open carry with a permit, which I think is really annoying because in other states you don't need a permit for that shit. Yeah, could you maybe? And, uh, yeah, could you maybe carry a machete instead? Uh, in Texas, it's legal to carry anything from uh, Bowie knives to spears and axes. I'm sorry, guys. Nice. For for that knife, have you have you got a license for that knife? <laughs> yeah, yeah, my my, my license is uh nothing right pers here. Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> Teleport behind you. License for what? License for what? Your knife. Uh, Imagine okay. needing a TV license. <laughs> like, 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 I, like, I don't want to rag on 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 the limeys too much. Oh no, no, no! They get mad about no. that. No, 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 no! I hate the, I hate the TV license. It is unnecessary. Um, the, BB, the BBC essentially listen to this. The BBC um, get all of their money from the TV license and. Um, the, the weird thing is, is they will, like, send really passive-aggressively worded letters to your home, like, oh, I see you, um, you don't have your TV license, you should be paying that, and you have to, like, tell them that you are not, like, watching live television, um, or not streaming from their website just so they'll leave you alone. Um, well, I like I I've I've never really been one for watching live television or watching the BBC, so I've never like really modern had to... TV sucks balls. TBH. Yeah, the thing for is, the most that, part, yeah. when it comes to television broadcasts, is dying because of the proliferation of the internet and YouTube and all that. Not, nah, nah, but like whatever. you're just minding your own business in Britain, you know, drinking some tea, having some. Uh, Crumpets. Jaffa cakes. And, uh, and Jaffa then, cakes are brilliant. Yeah, Jaffa mm -hmm. cakes are good. But uh, then you hear a knock on the door like, Oi, can't you got your fucking TV license? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you trying to sound British makes you sound like you're from Brooklyn and that's hilarious. I, I can't do the like, like, like I can't do the British accent because the uh, autism voice, but I could do this. <laughs> Do you have your TV license? If you don't, I will give you some Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> yeah, that's a that sounds like a trade. Yeah. Yeah, well, here, 
here they're a little more uh, uh, upfront. They uh, send you the bill first, and uh, if you don't want to pay it, you, uh, you have to tell them that you don't watch TV. If, if they, they don't do... pay the TV fee in France, they'll send the GIG in after you, and they'll shoot you in the <laughs> face with an MR73 and be like, ha, ha, ha. Oh, they all have FAMAS now. <laughs> But uh, yeah, well, I mean, no, the R seventy three is their revolver. Oh yeah. In the future, it will just be Gap guns. <laughs> Give me the Gap gun. It's the best way to take down Manderley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love do sex memes. They're pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Yes. Shout and, uh, out to the Day Sex Meme group on Facebook. My vision is augmented. Yeah. Uh, there was this really um on youtube suddenly pe people were making comments with uh jc denton like avatars Profile like file pictures oh, yeah. yeah that yeah. was that was weird I, I was like i was genuinely like where is this coming from and why no no it's 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 been a thing for a while you just need to look in yeah. the right places uh -oh, like oh oh hey uh, 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 ever, uh, ever uh well, since well, I was a have it more than others oh, oh speaking like, of memes of the decade uh here's this thing i did in another server uh, I'll just post it right here. <laughs> just, see. just look at it. What the? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not bad. That's not oh boy, bad. I jet pie. No, oh, that's another dumpster fire in the house. JC, Danette, Danette is going back. <laughs> that's a little, that's a little touchy subject for me right now because one of my rats, <laughs> as you probably know, is named JC Denton, and uh, earlier today he chewed off a piece of my mattress. So I'm um, oh. still a little pissed off about it. Oh man, it's like nothing even mattress to him. <laughs> you see, clearly you should have given him the gap gun instead of the prod. <laughs> mm. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think there was one meme that I did enjoy, but I'm not sure what era it's from. If it was from the... Do tell. Do, do share. Yeah. If it's I need to find it on the... I need to find Sharing it. Sharing is it. caring. But uh, it is, um, oh god, it's one of those anime characters, I can't remember which one it was from. It, just describe it. Describe. Alright, so it, 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 it has, it's, it, I think it's been borrowed from another couple of memes or whatever, but basically the tagline, pop, 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 watching, I guess, drop. If yes. anyone remembers that. Yeah, so that it's one from I, some I, rap music vaguely, thing. Yeah. Yes, uh, let me look into all the. Oh, is it, isn't that, that, that from the song uh, X Gonna Give It To You? X Gonna um, Give It To You. Fuck no, no, you no. You're thinking your of the line Pop, pop of the stainless steel from pop, X pop, Gonna Give yes. It To You. Knock, knock, you open up the door. It's real with the non stop pop, pop and stainless steel. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of that. No, yeah. No, no. This boy thinking he's all gangsta, thinking he could own a stainless steel gun when all he got is a high point and some 380. Um, that reminds me of a thing. Hold up. Um, you you keep talking. I'll find it. Okay. Yeah, it reminds me of. Uh, I always remember that song because of the 4chan green text. Yes. Uh, um, yes. The Amazon one. Yes. That's the one I, I was literally just looking for. That I was just about to send that to the. That's a, that's a, like to quote some people. That is a certified hood classic. Exactly. <laughs> that's the one. Uh, yeah. Parental advisory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be me. Go onto Amazon to buy stainless steel popcorn machine. I love popcorn in parenthesis. Add my shit to cart. See they have an upgrade to Amazon Prime called Amazon Prime X. Claims to deliver your order in 10 minutes or less. Think it's bullshit. Free trial, so I use it anyway. Check out. 10 minutes go by. Think I knew it was too good to be true. Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's real. With the non-stop pop-up and stainless steel, my face when X gone give it to you. <laughs> Fuck waiting for you to get it on your own. X gone deliver to you. <laughs> Damn, nice. man. Well, when people uh, say my face when, but there's like no face. No. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a picture for that. <laughs> this stuff nice. is not for that. I'm done. My face when I don't have a face. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Nice. Some some days you just don't have a face. Which OS is more powerful, this Linux or Temple OS? <laughs> yeah. Poor Terry. <laughs> yes. Poor Terry. I mean, he. You know, <laughs> uh, Terry. Terry was taken from us too soon. Honestly. I mean, he had charisma. This is that, So, like, like he was a weirdo. If I think if he just got in the help he needed, he would have been fine. But like, it, it's like sad. Maybe that if he got like, some solitary confinement. Ter- Ter- Terry was a computer um, <laughs> science, pro- uh, computer science uh, dude who did programming for another like local bank uh, thing. But then he had schizophrenia in oh. his later years, and he created a. C based operating system that was heavily influenced by uh, Christianity. And because he said that God told him to make this operating yeah. system. C for Christianity. I cannot remember his last name at the moment. Uh, it's Terry Davis. Thank you. Oh, wow. Well. Like, what's that it up? Uh, and so like, the internet pretty much. Yeah, he, he had a couple of videos that he uploaded on YouTube that showed him the different things uh, that he was doing with the, the operating system. And it was all written in like this. Um, I can't remember what it exactly it is. It, there's a whole there's another video on YouTube that explains the whole thing uh, down mm-hmm. in the rabbit hole about Terry Davis's operating system and breaks it down in far more detail than I can explain it. Terry so, Davis is the real cyber Chad. <laughs> the original. So basically, that's the Sony Chu of operating systems. <laughs> I wouldn't say on, that because uh, Terry day. Davis was more like a loco, and not cringe like uh, Sony Chu is. Okay. Um, like, like, what's a good comparison? <sighs> Elliot Roger. Ted Kaczynski. No. Yes, Ted Kaczynski. Okay, I, I get it. I see. <laughs> I see, I see. Programming goes over my head because anything that plays video games or porn is NASA to me. Mm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, to be fair, the shittest smartphone of nowadays is much more powerful than the computers that used to put men on the oh, moon. Yeah, yeah, like like the ago. computers they six, used six, for six, the you know. for the for the fucking uh moon landing. Exactly. For yes. The size of a bus, but like a yep. fucking phone is more powerful than that. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's nuts how much technology changes in just a couple of decades. Yeah, I miniaturization mean, had made had made things much more powerful because uh, the the speed of electricity is basically uh, the electrons cannot move very fast, so you have to make things smaller to reduce the distances. Uh, by the way, now that I'm thinking of it, uh, Giles and Lisa, you are welcome to chime in on Meme of the Decade. Don't, hesi- <laughs> don't hesitate. You are very shy. Well, Take your time. <laughs> Actually, I, I agreed with the earlier mention of Doge as far as the like most pervasive, most uh, evolutions, yeah. like widest reaching. An eternal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah um, I agree with that as well. But. Yeah. There's a potential, though, that it's going to be like a 2020 to 2030 meme, though. So it could last a long time. It's a forever yeah. meme. Yeah. We might not have even seen its like ultimate iteration yet. It's so. outlived its origin as well. Probably. The, the yeah, actual Doge died. Final form. I, I'm a big fan of... Um, I reckon like the meme lads, the like... Uh, like the, the special meme fresh yeah. and that gap. The meme gang dudes, I reckon that was that was a meme that like made me realize like surrealism, like yeah. Yeah. Mind, as, or, or like you know just just it, even like the comic form where there were like twenty images telling the story of different characters and stuff. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. So like, I mean, we all remember the layers of irony one. Uh, well, yeah, that that's. Was, what I was about to mention that. That was very that's a special yeah. mention for sure. How many layers deep are you? Yeah. yeah. Good luck, nerd. I'm behind seven proxies. Ah, yes, I was about to mention that. Uh, Lisa, do you have a, a, ch- a choice for meme of the decade? Uh, I was thinking about it. I was looking at a lot of 
top meme lists from various point, you know, years in the decade because it's been a long decade. I don't yes. remember a whole lot. Um, I would say that my top meme is food, just like as a category. Okay, yeah, like the Gordon Ramsay memes. For just example. everything, everything I'm, food related. Just, finally, oh, just food. delicious <laughs> fucking food. Top ten <laughs> internet memes by Watch Mojo. Corn. <laughs> meme in itself, a top mojo. Corn is a great meme. Um, the eggs are, eggs are a great meme. Now listen here, yes. beans is a massive food meme. Ha ha, this yes. nigga eaten bone in. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucking <laughs> cinema. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said that in horrible German, but it's funny. Oh, yeah. Beans are pretty. Uh, nice. <laughs> beans are pretty neat. Beans I actually are really favorite. don't. I actually really don't like beans. How can you not? Okay, well, I mean, you're not Blasphemy. Mexican for one, so you—that's fair. Oh, but also, so you're British and have beans, beans on toast. Yeah. Beans on toast is like a British staple. Yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you see, you see, as a Mexican, I'll put some beans, some some uh, chorizo. No, but normal beans are fine. Toast. Baked beans, not good. I do not like baked beans. Like, um, uh, you don't like, you don't like well, uh, baked beans, is beans like, with, uh, with like tin tin sloppy spaghetti beans. I call them like um, the fucker spaghetti bean. <laughs> you, you know, you know how you get sp fucking spaghetti in a can. It's like that, but without the spaghetti and with beans instead. It uh, sounds uh, that very is, British. I, that's true. Have you guys that ever tried true. chili on spaghetti though? It's like yes. really what? good. What the fuck? For real? Chili though? on spaghetti. I'm or, not or, fucking like making bolognese. this up. Just it's like, real. No, no, no. You no, just you see, you see, there's an evolution to that. Team. And it is the Chili Mac MRE. It's really good. 10 out of 10 would recommend it. Well, Chili with grated cheddar cheese on top over spaghetti. Oh, so basically like bolognese. Oh, no, no, nah, nah, dude. You have to have your mac and cheese with the chili, with the beans, and the meat. <laughs> I don't so, know about I'm that, gonna, but I'm just, just telling you guys. That. I never heard us putting beans on spaghetti. I have heard of the macaroni one, but never on spaghetti. That's yeah, there's a, there's a popular that's a new recipe. One for me. There's a popular recipe on in Italy, but it's uh, like green peas on spaghetti with uh, some. Uh, I don't. I think it's ham or bacon. What something like oh, this? Italians. Well, that sounds, that's, that's uh, sounds like, that sounds like, like carbonara, carbonara with peas. Uh, carbonara with peas. Excuse no, no, no. You. There's, uh, there's oh, no, no, there's no eggs. Uh, Thanks for excusing me. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, the chili on spaghetti. That's interesting. Yeah, it's right. Cincinnati, the, Cincinnati the, the, chili. That it's a, it's a thing uh, in Cincinnati, Ohio. Do you, do yeah, you, they put some cocoa powder in it. Do you remove? Yeah. Do you remove the the beans and substitute them with spaghetti, or is this beans and spaghetti with the chili con? Carne it, it's stuff? the it's the chili. It, it's the spaghetti, and the chili contains beans. Yes. And then you put cheddar cheese on top of the hot chili. Uh huh. Yeah. And it's yeah. great. Yeah. Okay. And it, it's very. It just sounds like a Mexican bolognese. Yeah. Mexican bolognese. Did I hear well, cocoa act powder? Actually, uh, yes, cocoa powder in the chili. I, cocoa, cocoa powder actually in, goes really, in, really well in chili. Dark chocolate releases so many flavors I, in chili, like you wouldn't fucking listen, believe. dude. If I you don't eat heard, baker's chocolate yeah. out of the wrapper, you're a coward. <laughs> I, I've never heard yeah. like yeah. like dark oh, chocolate, dark chocolate is like chili. like as the kids say these days, dark what chocolate is kino. It's like chocolate <laughs> in chili is actually oh, like I don't, a, I don't know, fellas. I'm more real than gourmet shit. Crack kind of yeah, no, no, like cool. like I remember on a school <laughs> trip, there is this like uh, like chocolate mousse with like hot chilies in it, and like it wasn't like spicy, but it was oh, warm. Yeah, it is really, really good. good. That's really good. Yeah, chocolate. It's really so good. good. Yeah. I, oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like spicy stuff and chocolate goes really well. Yeah, it, re it reminds me when Tabasco uh, did that chocolate thing. There was like uh, a few years ago, it didn't last long, but there was uh, like a uh, chocolate with Tabasco oh, yeah, in it. It was yeah. so good. Didn't, was didn't really Ashens good. review that? If any of you know who Ashens, I yeah. love Ashens. Ashens is my favorite YouTuber of all time. 
He's a brilliant. Um, I actually, I actually bumped into him briefly once. Oh, um, you lucky bastard! Maybe, um, maybe that you, that was just Simon Pegg. No, no, <laughs> it was definitely it was it was at a comic convention, so I'm fairly sure it was Ashens and not yeah, Simon no. Pegg. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I bumped into him. I double took for a moment, looked at him, and I was like. Are you Ashens? And he's like, "Yes, yes, I am. I'm about to go do a presentation on the game, child, in there. Come and watch." And I didn't watch. You were trying to contain the fanboy inside. Me and I, I, did, I didn't hang out with Ashens at that time. I didn't actually know who he was very well. I just recognized oh. him. So, like, I was, I was See, kinda... there was no fanboy like inner. Oh fanboy God, that that reminds me of something. Uh, I I went to an anime convention with some friends. And uh, we got the fancy passes, so we were going to have we, we were gonna eat lunch with some voice actors. I don't remember who they were, but we had to leave early for some reason. So I'm guessing the voice actors are wondering where their guests were because uh, we weren't there. <laughs> oh wow. That's a, that's a very surprising story. I did not know that people who go to an anime conventions could have friends. Wow! <laughs> you just oh. gonna put a homie on blast like that? <laughs> Oof! It was That's a blank. Right. It was a blanket <laughs> statement. It was not directed at anyone in particular. Okay. Ser serious, just... serious question: Do yes. people who go to anime anime conventions do they have friends or do they have cohorts? No, like, are they really? Like, like I, I was, like, with, I was with my high school friends. Like I was with, with my friend existence. Paige, my friend Damien, my younger brother and my friend Harley, and we were all stuffed in this SUV with Paige's mom smoking and driving like a maniac because women can't drive. That's a... For all legal reasons, that's a joke, by the way. <laughs> and, uh, no, yeah, it was great Light besides to drive Light. back, but I have two vintage 80s anime posters I picked up from the convention. One Toho Hentai Dojin I like to use for memes, and yes, uh for, me. <laughs> for memes quote marks listen dude it's funny taking pictures of my guns next to a hentai doujin it, yeah, yeah we all know that that's that fair. that's a double entendre there for memes uh-huh mm. <laughs> but uh i i also uh as a hobby i collect the uh, hello kitty stuff like mostly plushes and posters oh, yeah. I used to do that. So uh, I got a Hello Kitty plush at San Japan. It was pretty good. Yeah. I used to collect Hello Kitty stuff a long time ago. I had a, a coffee mug uh, that was like uh, collector stuff. It was like limited edition. I don't I don't know what I did with it. I lost it or something. I have the Hello Kitty coffee mug that I use for pins now cuz one day when I was like uh sitting by the TV drinking some hot chocolate, the fucking cat knocked it over and cracked it, so I used some super glue to put it back together. Yeah, maybe that's what oh. happened to mine, too. It's it was... like, ah, it's my favorite mug. Yeah. But now I have a mug uh, that has... Where like, is my hentai mug? But now I have a, <laughs> but now I have a mug that has... <laughs> Is there Hello Kitty here. hentai? Is that a thing? I don't thing? want to know. Oh, no, no, Probably, that's yeah. cringe, dude. You posted cringe. It's the it's the internet. You know what they say. If it exists, there is. If you can think of it. it. Yep, it Hello definitely Kitty. exists. Uh, it to, definitely to, exists. To quote Xi yeah, yeah. Jinping for <sighs> bringing that up, uh, you post a cringe, you're going to ruin social credit score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, do you know some? Some of you probably not know that Hello Kitty is not a cat. It's a little girl in a cat costume. So uh, we'd yeah, be it, lied to yeah. <laughs> if you went to the Hello Kitty. Kitty you are like, is, uh... like I have Hello Kitty stickers on some of my AK magazines. <laughs> Nice. Let me fucking post a picture of that. Uh, I need to leave the room for a few seconds because I forgot to refill my water bottle and I'm very thirsty. So Giles nice and job. Giles and oh, Lisa, no. you are in charge. I'll be back uh, in a okay, couple well. minutes. Right. Uh, we shall not let become things become too chaotic. Here's yeah. how it's gonna fucking be Actually, around here now. <laughs> we're we're in charge. Wait, wait. Since he's God, you know what that means, right? Sis sister Lace is in charge. Oh, Francis God, God. Gay. 
Giles is in charge. I'm just his sub commander. Oh, you're sub. Wow, look at this bottom right. Here. You command a submarine. That's I I I command I under master. Giles's authority. I'm like his assistant director. So you're hmm. a secretary. No, I'm, I'm his muscle. Yeah, I'm going so, to be throwing the punches. So you're a yeah. secretary. I know, it's not yeah. like because you throw punches, but they no, 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 stay no. in your hand. To her or something. It's weird. Yeah, no, you're, you're. This is our ship now. We are, yeah. we are the captains. No, no, you see, you see, you don't have the uh, props for it. Look at me, uh, I am in charge now. Because, uh, you know, if you want to oh, be yeah, with me, I am the captain that's true. Now. If, you if are you wanna, the one. If you want to be the, if you want to be the captain <laughs> now, you have to be like, I'm the captain now. Yeah. No, I. This is I, my I being or, or to quote another famous black person. It's hey, hey, buddy. people, Seth here. <laughs> oh wow, I'm actually one of the, I um, I'm one of Seth's patrons. Oh, you're one. Of, you're you're bankrolling. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the merchants guild. Yeah. Fucking Chad, I love you, man. Um, <sighs> I, I mean, I mean, it it should be obvious with the Terry Bogard picture, but you know. I mean, I have a Terry Bogard picture because I play uh, Smash Bros a lot. Wow, look at this uh, dork! But Terry South is based. <laughs> Terry is based, so uh, you know you get a pass. Yeah, uh, exactly. My water bottle. So SNK uh, games are based in general. Listen, dude, I love Metal Slug. Metal Slug is my favorite series of games. Yes. <laughs> And Theo is best girl. Anyone who disagrees is a dork. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Heavy machine gun! It's all about the whammons with the round glasses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, I do not. Uh, <laughs> no, unfortunately. Uh, I have good news, though. I, what? I just figured out that it's not JC Denton who ate my mattress, but Jaguar. Not so. Uh, I I was um, I was mistaken. I I, I figured out that uh, Denton was in the cage all along and has not moved. And uh, yeah, so it's the fuck is fucking Jaguar who ate the mattress. So uh, the Deus Ex memes can come back. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I My vision is mistaken. augmented. <laughs> When your dog is augmented and it extends through the wall to fire through the streets of Detroit. <laughs> oh. I, have a, I have a question. Go. Um, does anyone here operate a page of their own? So I have a page. Yes, I'm uh, I, I have a few ones. Yeah. I, Go ahead. Uh, um, I I have one that I haven't posted to since uh, um, t the twenty fourth of January twenty eighteen. So uh, maybe for its one year um, inactiveness, I um, I am going to um, br maybe try and bring it back. Who knows? Oh yeah, no, just make a post once a year on that date. Yeah, maybe. I'm um, gonna <laughs> chime in and say, don't have a a, a page. And just make it like a, a random meme gif, like one of the stupid ones. Just every year, post this on your page. Yeah. <laughs> is that is that textured with Obama faces? <laughs> nice. It reminds me of that oh, uh, that, that Seinfeld oh, no, episode. Man. Or Jerry Seinfeld vomits like every year on June twenty second or something like this. Yeah. What's the deal with airplane food? <laughs> What's the deal? Finally, airplane the food. deal with airline food. <laughs> the palm of my hand. What's the name of the page? <laughs> what? On oh, my page, Adrian. Um, it's a oh, yeah. cretin posting. Nice. That's a good name. Cretin oh, okay. posting. Yeah, cretin posting. Uh, I, oh, before, okay, yeah. before I uh, before I went by Dodecahedron um, for a decade, I went by Cretinus Pleb. Nice. Um, mm. And uh, I used that on almost every platform. Well, um, pleb. And uh, I, I, I came up with it um, just for my Xbox 360, I think, and um, it just kind of grew out from there. Because uh, my Xbox 360 was the first console I, I ever bought myself, and I bought it for myself when I was 15, um, with my first job. So yeah. 
The, but the uh, Cretan posting is very inactive. Um, I also have another page which I posted a couple of things to and never posted anymore, uh, which is a uh, Castlevania What is a Man posting. Um, mm. And it is mostly just Castlevania memes. Um, and uh, when I say mostly, it's I, literally just like. I just make thought a of a fucking What is a Man meme and it's so stupid. Yeah, please share. A featherless biped. No, 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 no. It's, it's fucking quality, so, uh. <clears throat> What is an e-girl, but a miserable pile of coochie? <laughs> oh, That's God. not bad. <laughs> oh, I already shared this one. Why isn't it copying something? Okay. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's, there's some bugs. Build in the century. My wallet after I buy gun parts, because I'm a poor homie. Mm -hmm. Stop buying gun, but you're No, eat my ass. Like... You're gonna finish that AR-15, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I look, 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 dude. Like, I, all I need is a trigger, a trigger guard, a bolt, and a bolt handle, and then I'm Gucci. Oh, the, one of my favorite uh, Castlevania memes has the. Um, who, who here has played Castlevania Symphony of the Night? I have a thousand times. Um, so Alucard this, is best boy. There's a scene at the beginning um, where um, Dracula and Richter Belmont are having like a, a duologue and to which at some point Dracula says, what is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. Yeah. And um, there's a, a tool on the internet you can use to make them say literally whatever you want in this duologue. And one of my favorite ones is Dracula, and next to Dracula's face it says, it's fucked up how a goblet is a cup and not a tiny goblin. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's something like A goblet is a type of cell in your throat. What? <laughs> a type of cell? Like a, a, a prison cell? No, a goblet cell. As in, like a biological cell. Yeah, I, I, I. What does it do? Produces mucus. Oh. I see. Did you know your butt produces mucus? Every. <sighs> brown mucus. Every um, membrane, uh, like the, uh, your, your pee hole, also produces mucus. Insane in the membrane! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we need a little Cypress Hill in our life. <laughs> I bet they're not even from Cypress. No, no <laughs> it's not Cypress, it's like the plant Cypress. <laughs> oh, I don't think there's a bunch of Mexican Cypriots rapping, okay, man? No, no, no. I'm, when yeah, I, when I say Cypress, I mean like. The world is very connected these days. In Europe. Cyprus. That's I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I is know where Cyprus is. It's no, next to Greece. Wait, you know what's really difficult? Whenever you want to share a meme with the Discord, and you have to check first if you got it from the Chad Mojito page, so you don't accidentally share something that everybody else has already seen. Already I seen just it. don't care to Double post post. it anyway. Yeah. If they've seen it, they've seen it. People do it all the time. Sometimes I Listen. do it by mistake. <laughs> well, no, nah, I'm going to post this classic that everyone has definitely seen. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What is... What is yeah. I don't know. Um. Occasionally, I like to share my... And I, think there's been a, I think there's been a couple of times where um, I've, I, I think I shared a couple of those uh, enslaved memes, like uh, way, way back. Um, I shared uh, enslaved, um, which uh, just had the video game enslaved on it. And I think um, Chad uh, asked to post that. And there was another one where it was just... Um, ah, yes, and then the album cover for um, a Yes album. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, I, I, those just came to me straight away as soon as I saw Yes is a good band. Yeah, very, very good, yeah. Very classic. Krog is just brilliant in general. Yeah. Man, I'm so bummed that Neil Peart died. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, man, that like, is like, like, news. You know, this is the second time one of my favorite music hobbies is like kick the bucket after my birthday. 
That's the one. Because the first I time was David Bowie, now. and I love David Bowie. The, that's the depressing part of the of the tens is that a lot of good artists, a lot of influential artists, has passed, and it's like you know. <laughs> The legacy has it. Listen, dude, like, I was so bummed when David Bowie kicked the bucket. Like, yeah. man. Ugh. That was no kick, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. It was, uh, pretty cringe. What, um, what I'm album of the past... Kind of cringe, not gonna lie. What album of the past 20 years, uh, except, um... Except the latest one that he, he, he dropped just before he died. Uh, do you listen to regularly? Who, me? Yeah. I don't know, because, like, I like all his songs, my, but I don't really listen to a specific you like all album. His songs. My favorite David Bowie song is called, um, oh, what's it called? Bear with me. Let me look it up. Is it, uh, it I, like think it's called, I think it's called Breaking the One he raps and says the um, Like, Heroes. Um, no, no. My, my favorite song by David Bowie is called Breaking Glass, and it's very, very short. And it does that thing where it loops out towards the end. So your brain, you, you just can't forget the song. Songs get more easily stuck in your head when they fade out because you can't imagine how they end properly. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot, of, a lot of older songs do that. But Breaking Glass just has really fun driving sort of... Like, uh, my favorite it. David Bowie yeah, song... Is probably uh, where the wind blows. It's a good I'm, one. I'm gonna have to chime in and say that this is gonna be the obvious one that everyone else likes, but I'm definitely like uh, Major Tom. But, but uh, uh, my, other, my, other, my yeah. other favorite David Bowie song is Tom. China Girl. That's a, that's a classic. Space Oddity is a song that got me into listening to David yeah, Bowie um, because it played in the credits for Alan Wake for some reason mm. and um when i finished playing alan wake and i heard that i was like oh this is pretty good <laughs> um, ground control yeah, this is kind of kind of maybe second uh, line, line. ziggy is uh, the ziggy the stardust is pretty yeah. good i like how many characters in popular culture have tried to obviously reference uh, David Bowie, whilst not being David Bowie. Like, uh, if any of you have seen the Disney film Moana, um, I feel like the crab um, from that is a huge David Bowie reference. Well, yeah, uh, have you seen um, Have you seen Flight of the Concords? Yeah. Yes. Um, well, um, the, that, that um, fart cloud thing from um, Rick and Morty was clearly a David Bowie reference as well. Oh, yeah. Well, you know it's the all the same cloud. dude, right? <laughs> yeah, no, it's Jermaine Clement. Yeah, Jermaine Clement. Yeah, yeah, Clement. yeah. And he, he is a David Bowie fan, and like he plays David Bowie on Flight of the Concords. He's a big yeah. David Bowie fan. Yeah. yeah, they have a Bowie song as well. And there was also uh, David Bowie from the movie Zolander. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> People forget that, that classic I mean, timeless piece You also of love. can't forget Hideo Kojima's love for David Bowie and oh, referencing all, him. All of the Metal Gear Solid characters, in some way or form, look like David Bowie. If you search Metal Gear Solid David Bowie um, on Google, which is actually in my search history because I've looked this up so many times just to show people, there are huge like comparison images of David Bowie in different costumes next to all kinds of different. Uh, metal uh, Metal Gear Solid characters. Um, just share that there so everyone can have a look. Um, it is oh, on I was going to post that, damn it. <laughs> ah. It's actually ridiculous how uncanny it is. Now that um, you mentioned it. Yeah. The fact that he named that squad the Diamond Dogs, it's... it's it, all of Metal Gear Solid is just a huge tribute to two things, and that's David Bowie and that film with Kurt Russell in that I can't remember the name of. Uh, Escape from New York. That's the one. Yeah. Snake's Escape case from LA. Here he's literally wearing an astronaut suit, so <laughs> that one's just a fucking joke. <laughs> What's it? But, uh, um, no, no, Bruce. It's is definitely a love letter to like 80s and 90s action movies. And well, yeah, Snake Bond. Bliskin is like straight up a character in um. He's the, he's Snake. Kurt Russell's character. Yeah, that's that's Snake. Snake it's Bliskin. Yeah. Bliskin. And he has, you, did you just say Snake Foreskin? Have any of you seen those videos where David Hater and um, 
the guy who does the voice of Ocelot are just saying like random things that fans have asked them to say. Like one of them yeah. is of Os- one of them's not Ocelot. I mean uh, Otacon, and um, mm-hmm. Otacon's voice actor starts talking about Hatsune Miku in one of them. Colonel, um, it's like Snake. You've got to watch out. That's Hatsune Miku. <laughs> it's like <clears throat> weird. It's just like one of my Japanese animes. Oh. What? Remember when Eagle Raptor made some? cartoons and wasn't a sellout? I, I remember uh, making money. Now listen here, I've actually got a point about this. I remember about a decade ago, they changed the YouTube algorithm so that it stopped being about clicks on videos and started being about the amount of minutes watched. And this imme- the reason they did this was to combat... Um, I'm not sure if any of you remember this, but there used to be this phenomenon where people would uh, reply to videos with their own videos. And a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, e-girls, um, they've been around for a while, um, used to just post uh, in the thumbnail for their video. They'd normally just have like a close-up shot of them pressing their boobs together or something. Yes, I remember and that. It became such a yeah. huge problem that um, YouTube tried to combat it by making it so that people were monetized for the amount of time spent on their videos instead of the amount of clicks. But this immediately affected creators whose videos were short but took a long time to make, mm-hmm. um, such as animators and other people like that. Yes. And it was around then that uh, people like uh, Rubber Ninja, um, people like um, Eager Raptor, um, people like Oni started to not make cartoons and started to just um, play video games instead. Um, and they already had such a large following at that point. that was It was fairly straightforward. People liked them enough, they would go to watch them. But it's all YouTube's fault for just changing how things worked back then to the point where it actually affected an, almost an entire uh, medium, an entire way of entertaining people. And um, I actually studied animation for a short while, and one of the reasons I stopped getting into it as much, um, I'd actually taught myself to use Flash between the ages of like 12 and 18, was because it started falling apart. It started being a thing that people didn't really care about anymore because YouTube was making it not feasible. And... Um, we, it's kind we, of annoying. We all should have stayed on new grounds. Definitely, new grounds is brilliant. I still occasionally go on there. Yeah, um, same. I'm actually um, my Twitter account. I'm a uh, weird brag. I'm actually followed by uh, Wade Fulp, co-creator of New Grounds, on both his work and mm. personal accounts. Oh. And I had a strange chat with him once about DSLR cameras. Um, Ooh, cool. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's one that's of the interesting Fancy. thing. Yeah, I also got followed by the Earthworm Jim creator for a while, um, but then he stopped following me. Um, Fuck this dude. <laughs> yeah, the Earthworm Jim creator is fucking mental. Um, he's absolutely weird. Like, well, um, I mean, he made Earthworm Jim. You'd have to be on like DMT to come no, up with he, that. He he's like, a, he's <sighs> like a, a proper like um, tenth level Christian who hates anything that is unChristian. Um, it, it, it's oh, like man. he's one of those extreme people, like Alex, yeah, extreme Alex extreme Jones. Thing, yeah, yeah um, he's he's kind of like that. Yeah, Alex Jones seems more like just an exaggerationist or absurdist rather than an extremist. But he did have his that's what I used to believe to get t- um, until the so Sandy sure Hook for. I didn't. Like, yeah. I thought it was yeah. definitely, definitely, for a while. No, he's not. He's no, he not. legally tried to claim in court. That his act was satire in order to gain custody of the kids, which um, so, which actually didn't work because they just oh, backfired on him. Obviously, based on his yeah. Sandy Hook proceedings. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that that he's anywhere good, but he's he's definitely like taking the absurdist thing and going. He's a piece of shit. He is. They're, put, they're putting chemicals in the water though. <laughs> making, I mean, he's, he's, he's a big meme. Meme. As Still far a as a meme shit. he is, he is definitely a meme, but as a person, he's a piece of shit. But as a mm. meme, amusing. That's about as far as the line's drawn there. There are some people who are quite unsavory who have gained a lot of attention just because of meme culture, and it's kind of weird because mm. meme culture in itself entertains us all, but it also backfires and provides attention to people who really shouldn't have it. 
It's a double edge. I don't sure. think that's a fair criticism because you could say the same thing about anything like oh, no, no, reality, no, reality TV has made Kim Kardashian no, famous. No, I, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, not I didn't even, say it about anything. There is a bad no. side to everything, but there's a good side as well. You know, it's everything's weird. a double like, edged sword no, in some respect. Yeah, I mean, it's every kind of media will do that, whether it's like uh, there's been a, a musicians that are famous or pieces of shit, actors, real TV, uh, even radio hosts or whatever. That's That has nothing to do with memes or meme culture. It's like, just, like, like you know, I love Jim media. Carrey's work, but the guy himself is a fucking tool. Oh, he's anti yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 he's a funny guy, but the person behind the character is a tool yeah mm -hmm. yeah, yeah 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 very much mm -hmm. like most of people in hollywood <laughs> i mean that's well, hollywood has really been that's fair. throughout the centuries having kind of this double not a dual like a duality thing where it looks nice on the it looks you know, pretty cool or whatever shiny i was just gonna say use shiny on the outside but then there's like this dark kind of fucked up thing behind the curtain yeah, like, like, like everyone's no, no. to, to to look to because like, they have a lot of money, uh, a lot of influence. Like Portal, Aperture Science in Portal is the same. Yeah. Like uh, uh, the only based actors I like are uh, fucking Keanu Reeves. Yes. Yeah. Red at the moment. I would uh, say Simon uh, Pegg is pretty wholesome. Yeah. Yeah, but he's oh. British. It's quite different. Oh, well, Keanu Reeves is based because. Uh, he actually went to uh, three gun classes for John Wick, and he's really good at it. Like if he didn't, like if he didn't want to do acting anymore, he could just go into shooting sports and be good at it. I am. Um, I'm genuinely really looking forward to Bill and Ted Three. Um, oh yes. But uh, Bill and uh, the first two Bill and Ted films have been one of my uh, guilty pleasures for since, since i was a kid i watched them when i was like three or four and they've kind yeah, of just good. stuck with me since um bill and ted if uh, you've not seen it yet definitely <laughs> worth the watch yeah, and okay. uh the other uh, base Angus actor in my opinion is uh fucking uh kurt russell because you know, he's not like all these Hollywood weirdos who are like, uh, guns are bad, then they're in a movie with guns. Uh, that's a you false know. Dependency, but Yeah, that's... Whatever. Don't anyway, don't we are getting close to uh, two hours of recording, and it's going to be soon a time to wrap this up, because it's going to be a big editing piece, because of all of the people present so i will just uh have a last question to ask you because this is not just about endings it's also about new beginnings so what do <laughs> you uh foresee for the next uh decade i mean not the next the current one uh that just started uh in terms of memes uh, in terms of internet culture something maybe it's things that you predict maybe things that you hope or wish for uh every one of you in the order that you want i'll um okay start. go ahead um well so 2020 i'll finish my degree i'm going to work or further study i have no idea at this point i still have two more years of uni um also on a personal level probably Get my judo black belt, which should be in a year or two. Um, your your mic is cutting. Uh, com yeah, compete compete some more, maybe at a higher level. At the moment, it's only at university. Maybe have a Muay Thai A class fight, mm. like contest. Nice. Which be, and um, I don't know, just keep on vibing. Great. Next. Mm -hmm. Who is next? Who dares step on the stage? <laughs> Let's, uh, Terry Bogart, go ahead. Uh, sh shit. Um, so I've got a, a lot of, I wouldn't say things in the pipeline, but I have a lot of things that I would like to do. And um, reaching that point where I'm like, I feel like I've spent a lot of time just living and getting by. So I kind of want to do some fun shit. Um, and um, I've been working on some music. Um, nice. So. 
So that's exciting. I've um, we are I have a band and we are uh, we're called Day of the Red Sun. Um, that's a nice. Name. And um, we are working on our first um, single at the moment. Um, we've been writing for about two and a half years, and we kind of reached that point where I'm like, come on, we've been we've been working on this stuff for ages. We need to actually do something with it. So we plan on releasing our first song in February at some point. Um, and awesome. releasing releasing a song is one of those things where I've kind of just wanted to do it for years. And um, finally doing it is going to be a massive uh, burden relieved, I guess, because it's something that has just been bothering me since I got into music ages ago. Um, any, any, does anyone else hear musical? I know that um, Chad does his um, music stuff. Yeah, well, like yeah. classically at school and all the rest, I played in a fair few bands, um, like uh, like classical, like orchestral bands and stuff. Yeah, uh, so just instrument deeply. I w I would dabble around with some of the Dawes, uh, Fruit Loops and such, but it's just mainly just dabbling around. Hmm. Um, I come from like a really musical family. Um, my parents, uh. My parents were folk musicians when they met, which is pretty, like, comical. Um, uh, but, yeah, I've performed on stage with, like, my... with four of my siblings. Oh, wow. Uh, sorry, three of my siblings and my dad. Um, uh, I play guitar and mandolin and sing, do play bits of drums and stuff. The singing and playing an instrument at the same time is... Yeah. Very daunting. I um I've been uh, practicing music for about twelve years now, and um I haven't played live on a stage in ten years. So yeah. um, I've been very impatient to try and get back in front of people, but I can yeah, never really right. sing and play at the same time when I was younger. I kind of hope I can now. You need. To I have a feeling it's a it's a skill like riding a bike. Like once you do it, and you're just able to do it without thinking. Like, I play bass no, guitar now, on so... The rhythm. Um, if the rhythm's really consistent, then it's easy. But um, if it's... Like, if you're changing the chord halfway through words, that's when you need to oh, sort that's of when it gets tough, yeah. Your, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, um, like, um, but, but that's why you break up the words, so you, like, you time the chord for, like, the second syllable of the word, and that sort of, like, helps you. Another good way of practicing doing two things at once is to literally do one thing so much that you're autopiloting it and then yeah. on doing the other thing. And that's kind of what I've ended up doing with playing bass and singing at the same time because, uh, sure. yeah, um, like by no means are my bass parts super easy to play, um, but I wouldn't say they're difficult to play either. But trying to sort of do funky little bass things and sing at the same time is a, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not, it is I'm very, not very hard, yes, because in my, uh, I, I know that because I, I sing, I've been singing for a really long time, and yeah. I also play drums and, and guitar, bass and keyboards, and definitely the hardest to play while singing is bass, because bass is at a, a weird corner between rhythm and melody, and being, like, being right. concentrated on both at the same time while you're singing... Like, this is why I think Geddy Lee is some kind of god. Yeah, Sting too. <laughs> In Sting, yeah. And, uh, and Paul McCartney really too. Oh yeah, Paul McCartney is uh, much better than I uh, I thought. If you just... Oh, he's, a, yeah, he's really talented. He, yeah, on, on his solo stuff, he's like... Uh, much better than in the Beatles. I mean, the, the Beatles are not trying to be like uh, exceptional musicians. It's more like uh, songs that are formatted for, for radio, bar a few exceptions. But yeah, yeah uh, I've, he really surprised me on the Sound City uh, album. I don't know if you've listened to it. I've, I've listened to Sound City. There's it a was song really good. Yeah, it was Centipede really good. is really good. Um, They're all really good. They're all really good. I think good. it's called Centipedes. Um, Dave Grohl's involved, Josh Homme's involved, Corey Taylor's involved. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're not on the same song, though. There's a song no. which is really, really good uh, uh, with uh, Corey Taylor called, called From Can to Can't. Or the yes, that really uh, good. But, yeah, my favorite is the one with Josh uh, Homme and Trent Reznor called uh, Mantra. The one is really long. Oh, that one's really good as that well. That one's really nice. But the one with Paul McCartney and uh, Chris Novozilich, uh, it's really, really 
uh, oh, the, uh, much um, better than I expected. Nirvana yeah. basis. Yes, and I think Pat Smear is playing guitar as well. Uh, but yeah, it's a uh, it's really, really good song. And McCartney is awesome on, on, on it. He's, uh, he's, a big fan of, he's a big fan of Nirvana. I, I didn't know that. I learned oh. it recently, apparently, yeah. Yeah. Like um, I really like seeing collaborative efforts between musicians who normally wouldn't spend time together because they always end up coming up with really interesting fusions of their own styles. And um, thinking about uh, Josh Home in this respect, uh, have any of you ever heard of something called the Desert Sessions? Yes, of course. Yeah. Um, now, the Desert Sessions released an album fairly recently, yep. um, and each song in it is like a self-contained genre piece, and um, different uh, musicians work on different ones, and some of them are very artistic and expression and some of them are very comedic and weird almost. Um, they, uh, If you ever have, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes, uh, give the latest Desert Sessions album a listen. Um oh. It's difficult to listen to because it's kind of weird, but once you get into it, it's very fun and unique and expressive. Definitely worth it. Listen. Yeah, I agree. Well, we should keep going along with the uh, wrap up. Yes, absolutely. Uh, do does anyone else have something like prediction, hope, wishes, or maybe a meme that is starting now and that you foresee will get big soon, or maybe a meme that was big and will come back? Maybe loss will come back again. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Was it ever well. truly lost? <laughs> like uh, maybe food will be a meme again. Like chili. Food. Chili I just made a food meme to gay, so. It's still going. Yeah, ch chili on spaghetti. That's uh, <coughs> that's a spicy meme. I can just imagine that. Like, can we call it a spaghetti? Picture yes. of chili on spaghetti, and then an impact just chili. What about if spaghetti. spaghetti was made out of denim? Oh, spaghetti! Nice. Like you like that I jeans that's a photo 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 photo. Like that. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a challenge for someone to Photoshop. I'd like to see that actually happen. That, that'd yeah. be interesting. If someone figures out a way to replace the pasta texture. Yeah. I think that memes... Denim, my denim flower. My prediction for this decade is that memes of the future are all going to be in VR, and they're oh. going to be more so impressions and experiences than I, images. I would love a VR meme. Do you think yep. that is a meme for you? It's the memories of a man in 1940. Yes, exactly. <laughs> memories, memories of a man in 1940 be like, you know, and then it's VR experience. Insert VR Sorry, experience. That was kind of a cringe memory, not going to lie. Uh, yeah. If, they, if, he's, if he's in Europe oh, fighting or in a war. Oh, oh, by Roman the way, back. by the way, that reminds me of uh, something that was like the huge prediction when I, when I was young a long time ago uh, is that um, smells would be able to travel uh, maybe not through the internet but uh, you know uh, 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 in cinemas for example along with the film yeah, smell of vision smell yes. of vision and um, mm -hmm. so uh, do you think that if smells come to the internet along along with image and sound uh, that means we wouldn't be able to look at cursed images anymore you'd start getting some really stinky memes on them. yeah that exactly might have... <laughs> that's, what? A, that's a facebook page waiting to happen mind. stink but memes that smell that is my I'm last that is my, smell. that is my last question uh real quick for the wrap up uh if uh, smells become memes, which smell do you think would make the best meme? Mm, bacon. Nice smells. But you know, you know when it rains after being dry for a long time. Petrical. Petrical. Uh, petrical that's the one. Yeah, like that. That in itself could be a meme. Okay. That's yeah. going. That's going to be a normie meme, though. That's going yeah, to be yeah, a huge is. normie it's meme after rain smell. Normie. The the and edgy memes will just be really. It's like. Gre is like absolutely nobody colon empty space the ground <laughs> that, that <laughs> I fear if that's the case I fear that memes would would, would there would be a more divide because Ed it's gonna have it's gonna have some more effects I should say when it comes to smells because a lot of that stuff uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. I, there might be a conflict um, of smells. So let's just say yeah. durian fruits would just get you a lot what? more. Oh <laughs> yes, durians, man. Durian, you know, what would the the edgiest meme like? is just the edgiest meme is just gonna be the smell of paper or like <laughs> yeah. um, fresh books. Death. I'm afraid of scrolling my phone, scrolling down my phone, and then like there's a whole lot of people going like ha stinky poo poo smell and just shit react i am going yeah. to definitely have a smelly meme blocker on my device yeah, nice. oh yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah. the first the first things they're gonna sell oh yeah that could be like the like the new rick roll the smell roll I, I think oh, i fear this oh you thought like this was i think the best I mean, smell surprise, there's a shit in the middle of it <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> I, I reckon the best I'm like all I the really, time I really reckon that the best smell memes will be the ones that smell like something really familiar that you just can't figure out what it is yes. and it would just confuse people to, mm -hmm. to the point where everyone starts arguing with it They're kind of like you know you know the color of that dress that that dress color oh meme God. <laughs> it'll be like that but with That's, smells yeah. it's like oh does it does it smell like burnt toast or do, <laughs> oh yeah think, making the smell of think, yes exactly <laughs> we're gonna say the same thing uh, making people think they've had a stroke. Exactly. People are going oh. to be splicing multiple smells together just to confuse people for that yeah. reason. <laughs> like I'm conditioning gonna, people I'm to think nice smells that. are bad smells. I'm just going to say that when it comes when it comes to the smell thing, it definitely is going to be uh, um, since smells already have a strong connection with memory, that it would be yeah. like a warfare of Same smells. Voice. I'm mm. pretty sure. So if if World War Three does happen, I think it'd be about smells this time. <laughs> World War Three will not be fought with weaponry, but with smells. Well, with yeah. smells from memes on the internet. Yeah, <laughs> smell hacking. Does. Smell yeah. hacking. That, that hacking. is when Fart India bombs. would tr become a true first world power. <laughs> oh, damn! Let's dominate the internet. India superpower by 2020. Yes, that's. No, nah, it's that been pushed now. back. It's 2024. And now it's pushed back to 2024. Yeah. Well, to be India fair, India is in my the... superpower. <laughs> to be fair, in the original meme, it was 2013, not 2020. Oh. Um, but uh, we, yeah. we got too enthusiastic, boys. <laughs> this whole this whole conversation really reminds me of that book. Uh, maybe it was the the X Men. Wasn't there an X Men whose superpower was like resembling a guy that you kind of know but you don't really remember who that is? You know, <laughs> such worse superpower. <laughs> <laughs> so he used that for uh, like spying and infiltration because nobody oh. ever suspected him because he looked kind of familiar. But you can't. Like, yeah. And you feel like everyone walking up to you, going, hey, "Do I know you from somewhere?" Or yeah. if any of you have ever read the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, it's kind of like the <clears throat> there's like a. Yes. A technology device that makes you not pay attention to things. Yes. You just pretend that it's not there. <laughs> um, what's it called? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we're gonna wrap up now. Uh, maybe some someone uh, has a word for the end. Or E. Oh, great! Yes. <laughs> that, 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 that's all, folks. <laughs> very, very nice. Uh, so Fuck bitches get money. Yes, that's valid. And of course, life is short with dessert first. Life is short, eat dessert first. My goal. Life uh, is short, eat dessert first. Yes, thanks everyone for coming. It was fun. It was the last episode of Mohi Talk because after that, we changed name and saw a whole new season of a talk show called Aneurysm, which will be just like this one, but very different, but the same. So. <laughs> Thanks everyone, of course, for listening, whether you're at home, in your car, in your uh, bus, or, or in a plane, whatever, private jet, or under the sea. And, of course, don't forget that uh, we have, like, Patreons and stuff that you can check. Uh, we have also, like, Facebook pages, uh, YouTube channels, SoundClouds. All the links are in the description box, whether you're on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Facebook. And, of course, don't forget, if you 
really like what we're doing to smash that motherfucking like button, obliterate the subscribe <laughs> button, and explode the, the rate five stars if you're uh, on like iTunes or whatever and you can rate, uh, like, comment, and share. That's the most precious thing that you can do for us. Thanks for listening. I hope you had as much a good time as we had making this. And see you really soon in a whole new costume, a whole new suit, a whole new branding, but the, the, quite the same spirit. Cheers!